Hey guys, welcome back, and we're off to Marsha's house to try and sneak in to find out any more evidence or, you know, interesting facts that we need for this detective mission. Let's go. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. Well, that was a bit frame rapey. This is not the best way to sneak in. Okay, so which way are we going to... Obviously, I assume we're going to have to go around the back then. So open this. So, so, obviously, there's a ladder around here, but I'm pretty sure we can't get up that. The window is firmly okay, shut. the window's shut. We're going for the back door. Yeah, we are. Of course, it's the only way you're supposed to sneak in, in it. Back door. Use the correct lockpicks. No space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. Okay, they're pretty easy to get in, I think. <laughs> you just seem to press X and it seems to just lift it over all the time, so. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh. Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. Oh, we did that bit wrong. What okay. For? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. There we go. We did it this time. Did it nice and quick. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not... I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Good job, Watson. Okay, it worked. Oh, his fingerprints. What's behind here? It's a safe. Let's see how hard to crack this safe is. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? Oh my god, we got caught. Keep doing this wrong. Will you break anything else? Okay, so I'll we're gonna have to hide somewhere. Be 
behind here, behind here, behind here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What's he doing? Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Let's go back to the safe. Let's try and crack this. I'll take the safe door and locate the area of clear sound. Feedback to confirm the correct safe combination. Okay, we've got that one. Okay, I think we get this. So just got to move this around and find the big wavy lines. It's around this side somewhere. It's loud if you go down here. It's here somewhere. There we go. Right, we went past it. There we go. Done it. I wonder what's inside. Let's open it up. Lots of stuff. A letter from Laws Harrington. Okay, it's another letter. November seventh. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Dear Lord March, November seventh. Our meeting starts at Grunston Oak. I think we're going to Grunston Oak, guys. Oh, we got a deduction. George has special job is undoubtedly associated with violence if he took his rifle with him. Okay. Yeah, it most certainly is. I have to finish my search of the office. Oh. So I thought that was it. I thought that's it. Because I assume that's where we're off to next. Okay, so someone picked up a flower? The education programs changed their life. Oh wait, we need to move that because okay, I'm not really sure what to do with that. I found a letter though. Dear Lord Collins, that's from Lord Marsh. Okay. Uh. Okay, it doesn't say that's from. What's this? Matt Fragment. Okay. Oh, photos with a rifle. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. Yeah, he's a hunter, actually. 
Okay, completed. Okay, what's this uh, deduction? Oh, it's a hunter. Okay, what's this? Hunters. Lord Marsh and his friends are skillful and experienced hunters. Okay. I'd agree with that. Okay, so we've got two left. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to make of this game so far, guys. You know, let me know what you think about this game, you know. Hmm, are you enjoying it? Are you liking it? That your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. <coughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> Quite sure what's supposed to do there, but we uh, must do something. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Doctor Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests, and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. They have no idea, do they? Okay, I guess we're off to the... What was that? The Grand... Oh, Grunston's Oak. I'm assuming that's where we're off to. And continue. Okay, well, we're back here. We need to go there. But it's not on the map. Perform analysis. Search archives. Search archives. Oh wait, hang on. Do we need to go over to our books? Yeah, here we go. Holmes, come here. This is serious. Do we have to go get him? Watson, what are you doing at my table? Okay, I let's analyze the handkerchief. One thing about Lord Marsh. Let's see what he has to say about it. My oh, well, oh, hello. That Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Let's study it more closely. Okay, set the focus. There we go. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Hmm. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. I need to take a sample of it using the glass rod. The glass rod, this. <laughs> Man, this is weird. Okay, so we put that underneath the telescope. Let us apply chemicals oh. to color the sample. I don't know. I don't know what to. Uh, I need a in the beat. There you go. 
This chemical should be applied second. Okay, which one? I don't know which one to put first, mate. Blue? This chemical should be applied Okay, the pink one then. Then this one for second. I'm also not sure you went to mix like chemicals like that, but put it in the same I'm gonna put it into this one as well, so we had them two on it. Now let's examine the coloured sample under the microscope. I need a sample first. Oh I've got to click on the sample. Alright then. Go on, let's have a look. Let's check this out. Examine the stain in detail. Look for unusual elements. There you go. What's this? Mycobacterium. It oh, he's seriously Ill. seriously Ill. Yeah, but what does this mean? What is this going to change for us? Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson? Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Oh, I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. Uh, okay, so he's got tuberculosis. We need to do the search uh, for the badge. What this means. Newspapers, no, encyclopedias, military badge, okay. History. Uh not the one I need. Oh this one, nope. That's not a copy roving, can it? Maybe it is. Nope. That's not the one I need. That's not that's not the one I need. What's this? Um Not newspaper, it's got don't know where to start looking. Research. Let's have a little look over here. Ah. Marks and symbols, badges and badges and medals. What well, here we go. The Wolf Jack Jesus Prest. A wolf jack is half wolf and half jack rabbit. It is used by the Lovat Scouts as a self descriptive nickname. The Lovat Scouts formerly became the British Army's first marksman unit. Here it is. So he was in the first marksman unit. Okay. Let's see what we can deduct then. Look at Scout's wound. Yes, that's what I thought. Because he has belonged to the Love at Scout's marksman unit. Yes, he has. And the invitation will link to this Gunston's Oak because the invitation is for this place. It's not going to be that. It's going to be encyclopedia. I think we're going to have to have a little look about. Probably in this place. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. It's not green. Oh, I accidentally went back. Okay. Here 
tapestry. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I. Okay, <laughs> it's not the one I want. It's not the one I want. Okay, we've got that. Ah, oh, done it again. Okay, so it's not that one. Grunstone's Oak. Ah. Here we go. So Grunstone Oak is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. The origin of its name is unconfirmed, although there are many legends of fairies connected with it. Okay, so whoever touched it will be cursed for all time. Here it is. So why on earth do they want to? Constance Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Do we, have we got a deduction? No, we don't. Okay. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Oh yeah, okay there. Where's Epic Let's Forest then? Find the place from the hand-drawn map. Uh, Gronston Oak. <laughs> no, can't find it. So it's like. Was it the top left it was in? Epping Forest. So there's like quite some oaks like uh Yeah, I can't find it, guys. You guys have probably seen it already. And I can't see it anywhere. Nursery. So we're looking for I'm not sure what the thing is in the bottom right of the small map. I'm really struggling, guys. Oh, hang on. Here it is. We found it. <laughs> I need to hurry if I want. I just noticed a little water bit. Forest. Father, that boy Wiggins. Does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him. Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. 
Uh, um, ah, a bit shocked. Kate, Wiggins is not the sort of boy you should be socializing with. So he's perfect then. Oh, Kate. <sighs> I'll leave you alone now. <laughs> okay, guys, we're just going to finish this video off then with, with the uh, last deduction that I see we can do. So, map invitation. Here it is. George has knew about the meeting between Lord Marsh and his companions that took place in Epping Forest. Yeah, he must have because he had a map of Epping Forest, didn't he? So Lord Marsh and his companions enter the forest that was indicated on George Hurst's map to hold a, a meeting. Go to Epping Forest. Okay, so guys, obviously next mi ne no, I was about to say next mission. Obviously that is the next mission, we need next episode where we go to Epping Forest and to find out more about missing is it missing Tom Hurst, is it? I can't remember his name. Well that might be the son actually. But yeah, the missing guy.